Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of my Desert Iron Man series. I've been getting a lot of support for the series, so I'm going to be working very hard so we're making some good progress. I've added some new rules that you can see up on the screen. I'm now allowing myself to do the quest Rune Mysteries so I can access a full rune shop at Alley Morrison's. I also am allowing two items that are extremely crucial to this account and should be accessed in the desert anyways, but for some reason they aren't, so I'm allowing them. The face mask you could usually buy from Sumina, but because they added Neve instead, I have to get it from outside the desert. Also, there's an herbalist in Narda, but doesn't own a shop for some reason, so I also had to get the pestle and mortar for when I did Druidic Ritual. This is useful for grinding chocolate bars, unicorn horns, and goat horns. I'll need all of these for potions later on. The face mask I'll need for the smoke dungeon. All of the previous rules I placed in the last video are going to be in the description along with these new rules. I don't think that there are going to be any new updates to the rules. If so, it's going to be something small again. My account is 100% desert, obviously with these exceptions, but these are only so I can actually access more of the desert. So it's not really that much a big deal and it's not going to make too much of a difference. So without further ado, here is the video. So first off in this video, I started killing the Calphite soldiers for some range experience. I safe spot them on the where you can find the very first Calphite soldier. I got them right around the corner there. I just used the long range to pick them off, run around the corner and start safe spotting them. It would take me about a hundred, well, once I got to 45 range, I could end up hitting sixes. So it took me anywhere from 60 knives to 130, 140 knives. And once there was about 130 knives on the ground, uh, 50 of them would disappear. So before 45 range, this would happen a lot. So I went through a lot of bronze knives that I shouldn't have. I should have just waited to do cow fight soldiers until I got higher range level. But it was completely FKable and I was able to play on my other accounts while I did it. So I just did it anyways. Getting bronze bars back out of Shanty Shop was annoying as hell. Because they haven't fixed it yet with the Iron Men having their own shops for every shop. So this Shantae shop still has the regular players buying out all the bronze bars. So I had to go to PvP Worlds and Bot Worlds in order for me to buy all the items out. But anyways, after all the smithing levels I got from that, um, I'm not sure where it left me, but it got this got me up to 48 range from just camping here. But I eventually got frustrated because I got two adamant helm drops. There's only one shown in the video because I lost the other clip, but uh, for sure there was another one. I got items like Myth Chain, Myth Squares, which are the best armor I can use right now, so I can't really complain too much, but I would have much rather got at least an Adamant Full Helm rather than an Adamant Medium Helm twice. My main goal, what I really wanted was an Adamant Axe, and I'm going to have to come back here some other time to end up getting that, so we'll see on that. So I got frustrated after cow fights, and I decided to do some questing. Um, I finished up Taurus Trap, and a lot of people have been asking how I'm going to train certain skills, and one of those skills has been Agility. And I figured out that if I do Taurus Trap, and I accept the reward for Agility experience, that gets me straight up to level 20. From level 20, I can go to the Alcarid Agility course, and if I really want to do it, I will pretty much guarantee I'm not going to be doing this. But I can go from Alcarid to level 70, and at level 70 I can do Pulvanuch. And then from level 70 to 99, but obviously I'm not going to do that, but this is how I am training my beginning level so I can save some run energy later on. After the Taurus Trap, I decided to do the Feud Quest because it gave me a lot of thieving experience. It gave me access to Allie Morrison's shop, and also I got Adam and Scimitar drop. So if I waited to do this after 40 attack, it would really be worthless to do. So I did that, safe spotted the two people that I had to kill and got the quest done and got myself up to 41 thieving and got myself an adamant scimitar which is pretty nice figured I'd just roll along with the quest and get it all done and out of the way um, I completed Gertrude's Cat, Druidic Ritual, Prince Alley Rescue and Rune Mysteries quests because those are the quests that I have to do outside of the desert and I just want to get those done with. The only other quest that I will need to go outside of the desert for is going to be Itchglarin, whatever, little helper because I need to chop a willow log and I need to get sap in a bucket from an evergreen tree. 
Other than that, everything else outside of the desert is completely done, so I'm going to be staying in the desert until then, and it's going to be a while till I get there anyways. Not a while, I need 30 wood cutting, but then I can go do that. But there's going to be a lot of other progress in the middle, so... But yeah, all of these quests are done, don't have to worry about them. I don't have anything else recorded, but there are a few screenshots I guess I could share with you. Some of these are some a bunch of levels I've gained, some are just screenshots and items I've got. Um, I found out a new way for me to get ranged weapons, and what I'm going to be using now is iron darts. They are the same exact stats as bronze knives, but they give double the experience, and now you can also get fletching experience, and they also give me double of the actual weapon. Um, for every dart, I get two darts instead, and with, with the feather cost, it's going to end up being a little bit more, but it's going to be just about the same. Instead of eight coins for bronze bars, which is cheap, it's going to be 20 coins, well, t 20 coins for two darts. So, 10 coins for each dart, so it's basically just as cheap. No, not much difference, but I'm also getting fletching experience as well, which I guess I could get up. Also, I figured out another way I could train crafting, which is killing gob or imps for clay, and I could um, make that soft clay and fire the bulls, which will give me half the experience I would from leather. So it could give me a couple beginner levels, but it won't help me too much. As you can see, I also got a wizard hat from imps. I was just going to kill one every single time I went up for a trip um, for mining, and I got that, so it's going to be a good mage hat because I plan on killing fire giants in the next episode for a staff drop and also a rune scimitar drop. But um, that's all I have for this video. Here are my loadouts now. The range one hasn't changed at all but I'll show it anyways and the melee one has changed a little bit. That's all for this episode. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Next video will be out in the next three to four days. I might not ma be making these videos as frequent and I might wait a few more days and make them longer because in three days if I'm just camping one monster there's not much that I'm going to be able to show you guys so I'd rather just hold off give you guys something to watch but yeah thanks for watching